Hi, I'm Greg Robinson and this is MyPhotographyShow.com. I'm here right now to critique this image that came in from Tony. Uh, thanks Tony, who says that White Sands, New Mexico in 2004, a day of sun, rain and fast moving clouds. Those are the best days, Tony. Um, so I'm going to critique this image in two different parts. First off is going to be your settings and second is going to be composition. Uh, those are generally the main parts I talk about anyway. So let's dive right into it. As you can see, uh, Tony, you didn't give me your ISO, so I don't know where you were at. Given the practically lack of noise here, I'd say you were pretty low down, so something like uh, 100 or 200 ISO. A shutter speed of 1 250th of a second and an aperture of f16. Now for the aperture, great choice. f16 was perfect because you're shooting a landscape and you wanted everything to be perfectly sharp in the image from the foreground to the far background over there. Um, so great going on that one. Uh, for all you other users who don't know this, just in case, Aperture enables you to manage your depth of field. So if you open your aperture, you have a very shallow depth of field, which means your background is going to be out of focus. And if you have a closed aperture at f16 or f22, then you have a very long, large uh, depth of field where everything is nice and sharp in your image. Okay? There is only one thing. Well, no, let's talk about composition. No. I'll continue on the settings for now. Uh, Tony, this is the only thing that's bothering me. I don't know whether this is snow or sand or whatever. Given it's white and I can see a bit of blue in the sky, I suppose it's snow. Now, I feel that your camera was tricked into thinking that it had to render the snow, the white snow, grey. And so indicated a very um, closed shutter speed. I would have suggested opening, uh, well, slowing down your shutter speed to 1 125th if not 1 60th of a second to make this snow white. The problem is it's grey. Um, if I show you what I mean by using levels, I'm just going to bring this grey back into the white part a bit, like this, look. There. There we understand it's nice and white. Now, I'm doing this on Photoshop. The difference is, if you do this on location whilst shooting, you're going to get better colours in that sky. That sky is going to look blue, perfectly blue, with these lovely grey clouds. Let me accentuate a bit of the blacks here so we can get, there we go, a bit more contrast going. That's looking already a lot more interesting. And uh, if I accentuate the blues, let me go into colour balance, that'll be best in the mid-tones, and get some blues going in there. There we go. That's looking a lot more interesting. Can you see how how much more impact your image has um, just by changing? Normally, if you had if you had slowed down your shutter speed, you would have had that. Now, let me just get rid of that uh, because the color balance is working also on this white, and I don't want it to. So let me just get rid of those blues. There we go. So you've got a nice white snow in the foreground, lovely blue background. Uh, you would have had, I would have even suggested getting rid of the blues in the clouds, you know, to make them look uh, a little more grey, because then you've got a mix of grey and blue, which looks great. Um, there we go. That's starting to look good, isn't it? There you go. Something like that, okay? Uh, that would have been a little more interesting, given that we now understand what's going on. We understand that this is snow, first off, uh, that it's not your choice, unless it was your choice to, to leave it a little grey like that and let the viewer kind of wonder what the hell's going on here. Um, but I, I personally, I prefer it like this, so ni nice white snow with beautiful blue sky and the mountains in the background. This looks great. Compositionally, I perfect. Honestly, perfect. Those of you who aren't familiar with the rule of thirds, uh, Tony did something here which is great. Let me show you what the rule of thirds looks like once again. Uh, I'm going to create a vertical line of 33%, another vertical line of 66%. That enables me to cut my image, as you can see, in three different parts, okay, using those two thirds. Now, I'm going to use this, that way you'll see better. Uh, a second guide in the horizontal, 33%. Third guide, sorry, and fourth in horizontal, 66%. So now I've cut my image into nine different parts, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going to count them for you. Um, what happens here is to get a harmonious image, which is easy to understand and feels complete, that's the main part, 
you have to respect this rule of thirds as much as possible. As you can see here, what Tony did, which was great, is he kept the snow underneath this lower third, which is perfect, just great. Um, then you have the top two thirds, which is the winner of the image. It's the most important part of the image. It's those clouds and mountains and the to at the top. Uh, given that there wasn't much information down here in the snow, it was great to put it in the lower third and give all the importance to the clouds and the mountains at the top. That's great. Placing this person is perfect, practically on this uh, vertical third here, and practically on the uh, well. The lower third is respected with the, with the um, with the snow, so that's great. And this person is perfectly spot because. The eye is directed straight to her. Now, it's not the importance of the subject, because that's not the subject, but she, I think it's a she, or he, I have no idea about that, sorry, um, gives us a sense of scale. That's what's great. We know what a human being looks like. We know roughly the size of a human being, you know, between, I don't know, um, Oh, I couldn't even convert into feet. I, I'm in France, so I'd say in meters, but you know, it's between 1 meter 30 and 2 meters, roughly. Uh, so we know roughly what a person a person's size is having them in the frame like this gives us the importance the size of this great composition so I'd say perfect well done on this Tony just that little shutter speed which have, uh, I would have brought down from 1 to 1 25th to uh, what well, from 1 to 2 50th sorry to 1 1 25th or 1 60th to get that extra um, punch inside the um, inside the the snow okay great going on that Tony thank you again for sending your image in all you other viewers thanks for watching I hope you learned something here and you're gonna apply the rule of thirds too um, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll send your critiques soon as well on myphotographyshow.com don't forget to follow us as well on Facebook you can find our group uh, on my page which is my photography show and on Twitter at my photo show um, and see if well find us on there to have lots of different uh, other things we talk about and send your images in on myphotographyshow.com until next time this is greg robinson saying you have fun shooting <laughs>